Welcome to this week's episode. What we're going to do, first up, a few cards that have dropped in obviously during the week. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of a walkthrough, just explain, we've got a whole bunch of projects we're working on, just do a quick run through. A little bit of a feature on the C10 at the end, and that'll be it, probably a little short episode, but next week we're going to do a bit of coverage about the vintage air unit we fitted into the C10. Let's uh, do this little tour. Here's our little TV with uh, the Jay Leno advertising running. We've got some new ones this week, so it's not the same five adverts driving me mad. Um, here's a little cabinet I picked up, and what I've started doing is just putting some of the collectibles that I've gotten over the years, some of the little special stuff from Green Eyes and that sort of thing. More to come. Come through here, and we've got a bunch of orders here. There's a couple of SoCal front ends, there's one there. Come around here, there's one there. We've got like three waiting to get picked up, just waiting on stuff coming out of customs. We're working on Butcher's little um, tea. You can see we've sort of got all the motor changed over to Carby and all that sort of stuff. Worked out fully, started doing the brake lines. There's the Jeep. Well, we looked at it, we, we haven't done anything. Come around here, this is what Craig's been working on for a couple of weeks. So it's a Ford Corsair. What year is this thing? It's a Ford Pubic. Ford Pubic, yes, a Ford Pubic. Apparently the, the, yeah. the, the Look it up. Price. Look yeah. it up, think uh, about it's it. It's a 64 Corsair. So obviously some extensive rust repairs to be done. So that's happening, that's been keeping us busy. Um, we did the C10 aircon this week. It's off getting um, the gassing and that done. So hopefully next week I'll um, have a bit of a feature. Uh, Atomic Air Fire is going to go on the FJ. It got its new shoes this week. I'll do a better shot of that next week. You can sort of see it's got a lot more. Yeah, lift the plastic up a little plastic bit up. so we can see a wheel. A wheel. There you go. There you go. One wheel. That was it. Maybe the back one. Yeah. 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 Looks good. Really lifted the car, mate. It looked a lot better. So let's go for a wander in the yard and see what else we've got kicking around, just as you can see what we're doing. There's the Jeep body. Uh, our deadline is a few weeks away, we're still working on it. There's the donor car for the Ford Pubic. Um, lots of other stuff, this is, this is the, the graveyard, there's the bottom. There's the tray off the um, 37 Ford. Here's this little Corona, we bought this the other week. We've now decided that it's not worth restoring, so we've started selling bits off it, and it is gonna become a rebody. We're thinking like a Land Rover, but obviously two wheel drive because this thing runs and shifts gears and everything properly. So we're going to do that. And then of course there's the GMC. We talked about that one a few weeks ago. I've since purchased an LS1 for it. Radiator, fans. I'm just waiting on the rear sump and the exhaust manifold. And then we'll probably start doing the conversion on that. Um, and that's about it. I'll do a little feature about this one in a couple of weeks. Here's one that I don't know if we've mentioned it on, on any of the videos. We've had this for a number of years. It's a Austin A40 um, wagon or, or van, I suppose you can tell. We, we, it's a mint body, there was no rust there. It's like seriously hardly anything for an early 50s car. So we've gone through and what we've done is we've redone the chassis and set it up so that it's now in like heavy box tube and that sort of thing. We've made the front tilt, so it's tilt front. Uh, you can't see it, but we've started the radius of the back garden. We were going to build a gasser out of it. So yeah, we've got some wheels and we've started working out what we're going to do. One day we'll get to it. One day. Uh, and do you need a sign? Craig's son Ben needed us to um, sell some signs for it. So you can see here, some, some we've already sold, but well, you want a cool sign for your shed, for your man cave. End is up. Got them all listed on Marketplace. They're all pretty big, so probably be a bit hard to post, but they look pretty cool. Give us a call.